What does that even mean? When it comes back. And I don't touch it. Yeah. I've never seen that. I've before. never seen that before you know either. We can do it again because you have that on video? I do. <laughs> awesome, we gotta find out. <laughs> I really don't know. I mean You can see the tension of this ping pong athlete now facing match point. Here we have Canada against Austria. Here's the sweet boat I'm on. I just paddled across from Koh Lanta back to the mainland of Thailand here again. Got a better boat this time, which is nice. Uh, it happened faster too, and I was able to row across by myself with my bike on it. There's my beautiful boat. And the guy on the other side seemed to think he was all good. I'll just pay him some point i don't know if he really understood that i was leaving the boat here and not coming back tied it up and he should be able to uh take it this is how everybody else gets over to the island loud ass noisy ferry super slow inefficient piece of junk the boat here much much better yeah i had this thought before that uh they're missing out on a great little tourist opportunity just to get people to row their boats over to the other side. Uh, I think that would be really cool. Maybe that will happen. Anyways, I'm back on the mainland and I got uh, three or four days to get to Malaysia before my Thai visa expires. Make that happen and uh, melt into the pavement today. I haven't really eaten anything. I got my friend here down here guarding my bike. Rubber trees everywhere. Thailand is capitalizing on the rubber boom for sure. Oh. And I am back on my bike, cycling a whole lot. Had a pretty uh, rough day yesterday, more because of the night before actually, because I got very little sleep and I had a big day the next day because I had to paddle off of Kolanta Island in a small rowboat after biking 13k to get there and then I had to bike another like 110k to get to Trang. A uh, pretty big day, exhausting and I'm on another big one today. I think I'm on 160k but I've only gone about uh, 100 now and it is 4.30. Sun is getting low in the sky. Thankfully uh, the this past like 50k has been on pretty nice mellow roads and I'm on a downhill right now. I'm more likely gonna end up biking in the dark and biking in the dark is not that bad. The thing that's bad about biking in the dark is that the bugs, right at sunset, the bugs are crazy and it's hard to see. So you're just getting all these bugs in your eyes and that just sucks. So I'm gonna try and avoid that. That's a bunch of pineapple there behind me. Yeah, they seem to grow pineapple amongst the juvenile rubber trees here. Find a place before it gets dark, hopefully. Although, I feel like I'm sort of in the middle of nowhere right now and there's not much around. Okay, here's some bumps. 
I know I will come across some small towns before I get to Hatiai, which is the bigger town that I'm heading towards, but uh, those small towns will likely not have guest houses in them. You never know, maybe they will. Uh, after a month in Thailand, I'm about to exit here, just at the border with Malaysia. Uh, it's been a pretty fast month, I'd say. I think I spent about 12 days on the bike. Got a flat today on the way to the border. Um, I'd love to film going through the border, but you know, officials and authorities never really, they never really like you filming stuff like that. That was a sick, sick bus. See that headwind I've had? The tailwind I've had today too? See those flags go? Yeah, so anyways, I'm going to uh, head into Malaysia here and go and uh, work on a farm. Put together the vlog that you're watching now after two and a half years. Yeah, I'm stoked for that. Looking forward to chilling out. And I should be getting 90 days on arrival in Malaysia, so I'm pretty stoked for that. Here I go.